why are all these Christians narrow-minded and exclusivistic about their worldview? I'm going to give you five reasons why thinking Christians don't affirm opposing worldviews. One, objective religious propositions are either true or false. Let's talk about what I mean by that. One of the major problems with the idea that Christians are just being narrow-minded, elitist, and bigoted is that faith should not be an issue of personal preference or cultural heredity. Thinking Christians believe the message because they think it happens to be true. Say, that sounds good. There is an unconscious belief in the Western world today that religious or spiritual claims are not true or false in the same sense that other things are true or false. The undeniable implication of this mistaken idea is that religious beliefs are not as real, important, or urgent as others. Two, if Christianity is true, then opposing worldviews are false. For example, Unless one is a cognitive relativist, they will not quibble with the idea that Barack Obama was President of the United States in 2014. The statement can be accepted as true. Likewise, the statement that Lady Gaga was President of the United States in 2014 can be deemed false. What thinking people should recognize is that the claim Jesus rose bodily from the dead, as Scripture says, or that He truly said and was correct that no man can come to the Father but by Him is also true or false in the same sense. In other words, objective religious propositions are either true or false, just like any other objective truth claim. Thus, if Jesus is truly God incarnate, then Islam's claim that he was one of the greatest prophets, but not God incarnate, is false. If it is true that Jesus died by Roman crucifixion, as even skeptical historians accept, then Islam's claim that he did not die, they did not crucify him, is false. In short, Christianity is either false and some other worldview true, or Christianity is true and all opposing worldviews are false. But they are not all true, nor are they beyond being true or false. 3. The truth of Christianity is too important to water down for the sake of unity with those of other competing worldviews. As Oxford and Regent College professor Alistair McGrath explains, quote, Christianity has a particular understanding of the nature, grounds, and means of obtaining salvation. He further explains, the Christian tradition bears witness to a particular understanding of God and cannot be merged into the various concepts of divinity found in other religions. This is why your Christian friends treat the issue as vital. The first in the flesh, get yeah, this started, get this started. It's crazy, and it's crazy, it's crazy, terrible. Oh my, get out of the way, please. It's also the reason why, though they shouldn't, they may even go too far and speak in hurtful or forceful ways about your unbelief. It's not that they think they're better or brighter, but because they know that you undervalue the importance of this urgent matter. Four. Religious views are not valid just because they're personal. I agree with the world's most famous atheist, Richard Dawkins, on at least one thing. Religion is not immune to criticism just because it's personal. In his famous book, The God Delusion, Dawkins explains, As long as we accept the principle that religious faith must be respected simply because it is religious faith, it is hard to withhold respect from the faith of Osama bin Laden and the suicide bombers. The alternative, one so transparent that it should need no urging, is to abandon the principle of automatic respect for religious faith. If Christianity is true and Hinduism, Islam, the message of the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormonism, Scientology, Atheism, and all other worldviews are false, then people should be Christians. They shouldn't be Christians only because they were raised that way, or because it makes them feel good about themselves. Nor should anyone believe anything else for such trivial reasons. We should believe what happens to be true. Five, most worldviews contain things that are true about the nature of reality, and even some have truths about God. But that doesn't mean the religion or worldview itself is true. The bottom line is that thinking Christians believe that religions and worldviews actually matter because they're making truth claims about the nature of reality. 
Most thinking unbelievers will agree that we shouldn't believe something just because it makes us feel good or we would like it to be true, but because it actually is true. We are seekers of truth and want to share that truth with others.